Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. It's a powder day. We used to say that when we used to, I skied when I was younger, before I broke my back. It's powder day. Powders are a wonderful thing, you guys. Um, last time I did the powders from uh, Jimmy Pickles. Hello, Jimmy. Uh, I said that you can get powders from him. He doesn't have powders, but he sells the seeds. So it, here's the thing about this channel. People have, a lot of people have jumped... Uh, everybody's journey uh, with peppers and heat is different, you know? It's, it's all very individual and unique. Some people are sauce people. Some people are only pods. Some people like salt. Some people like powders. I kind of like it all, but what I've found, and I've said this in a lot of videos, if I'm looking at a meal that I'm making and I, or I'm looking for the right sauce for a given meal, usually one will kind of jump out at me right away. Or as I'm thinking about the meal, I, I'm already thinking about the sauce. But there have been times, a lot of times, where I'm, I have a meal and I'm looking at the sauce and I can't find a sauce that kind of goes with it. Almost every time that happens, your answer is always going to be powder. There are meals where a sauce doesn't necessarily work because of just it being a sauce or you can't find the right one, you're almost never going to find a meal where a powder isn't going to be effective. And that's a beautiful thing. So <clears throat> everybody's journey, some people's journey is just uh, watching. Some people's journey is starting small and kind of climbing it. Some people include growing. So if you guys are growers, I, every if there's a million comments, a million of them saying, I'm growing now and these are the peppers I'm growing. I love it. It's the most exciting thing in the world. Grow peppers. But if you guys are growing, uh, Jimmy has isolated seeds. It's kind of an important thing. You get pods growing together. Sometimes you get crosses. How do you, you know, chocolate bula, chocolate reaper. There's, you know, there's different strains and there's different crosses that you can do. Um, and when you grow, a lot of times people, if you buy seeds from a, somebody who doesn't have much of a reputation or you don't know what you're getting, I've had friends that bought seeds saying they're going to be reaper or seven pot primo and they grew it out and ended up with green peppers. So you got to know who you're buying from. Jimmy is very reputable. Ironically, Jimmy started his uh, career with his uh, Jimmy Pickles product line um, almost at the same time uh, that we as a family launched Chase the Heat. So it's kind of a cool thing. We've had a similar journey. Uh, but he's a great guy and he has isolated seeds. So today I'm going to review uh, several powders, just a few of them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the two challenges this week. Oh, oh, oh. They're going to be savage. I promise you. So... Uh, let's first get into the, I'm going to use a spoon just because it's easier to slide a spoon in these little bags. And the spoon I'm using is the Chase to Heat Hot Sauce Spoon. Made of Mother of Pearl. Cool thing about it is every single spoon looks unique, has a different look. Now, the shape is all the same. Even the shape varies slightly because the shape of shells are different. They're hand carved out of Mother of Pearl. But um, I'm going to review a few of these. I'm going to talk about the challenges. Got some good ones. Got some fun ones this week. It's going to be a, a very painful week in the good way. All right, this is pump, uh, pumpkin bubble gum. All right, let me show you the powder first. Pumpkin bubble gum. Now, on bubble gum pods, on, um, the color of the pod grow, bleeds up through the calyx, which is the little wrap, the kind of a collar over the stem. Below the pepper below, there's a calyx on, on some peppers. Um, it's like a collar. The color on bubblegum bleeds through into the calyx and the stem. So if you get a red bubblegum, the calyx turn, turns red. And the stem actually has red it, ble that bleeds into it. It's one of the most unique looking peppers in the world. And this is a pumpkin bubblegum. I'm going to try to sne uh, smell the powder without sneezing. It's an odd time to sneeze nowadays, folks. Sneeze in public. You get attacked. Kind of an earthy aroma. It certainly smells hot. It's an interesting thing. Uh, it has a floral aroma too. Um, I don't like the floral flavor in fresh pods. It's the, the one flavor that makes me want to throw up a lot. Uh, I don't mind the floral flavor. It doesn't translate the same into powders and it doesn't translate the same into uh, sauces. But here's some bubblegum, uh, pumpkin bubblegum. I'm drunk so by the way. It's interesting. All this is is bubblegum flakes. That's it. But there's almost a sweetness to it. There is a sweetness to it. A little bit of bitterness. A 
This is hot though. This is a hot, hot powder. Um, for somebody who's not accustomed to heat, like the little bit that I just took, would be a bummer. My tolerance is really high right now, and that's probably like a, a three for a two or three for three for me. All right. Great flavor though. But this the, again, you can add it to just about anything. Um, so that's bubble gum, uh, pumpkin bubble gum. Um, this one is interesting. I think I reviewed this once a little while ago. I'm going to talk about it again because it's worth talking about. The hottest pod that I ate um, this year was a Primatale, which is a seven pot Primo crossed with a gourmet Fatale jigsaw. They crossed the two of those and they came up with a Primatale, okay? This is a chocolate Primatale. All right, now the reason I think this is worth doing a review, by the way, if you want pump, pumpkin bubblegum seeds, super hot, click the link in the description box so you can get some. This is chocolate primatale. Now, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this powder is that the regular primatale is the hottest pepper I've ever eaten. Almost across the board, I think I can probably say that, across the board, every pepper I've had, if I have a red pepper, the chocolate variety is always hotter. Okay, it has a, a gnarlier burn. The burn's different. It's just got a tougher burn. Like a chocolate bootla versus a bootla. Uh, a chocolate primo versus a primo. Chocolate, uh, just chocolate pods are nasty. Bubblegum, chocolate bubblegum burns more than a, a, a bubblegum, a red bubblegum. This is the chocolate primatale. Now, if the regular primatale is the hottest pot I've ever eaten, mm -hmm. you've got to imagine that these are going to be have, you know, evil hot. So, I, you know, so a lot of people, it's funny, a lot of people, I don't know if it's a, they want, I guess it is. A lot of them want to be able to say, hey, I grow the hottest pepper in the world. But um, the Primatale is the hottest one I've ever had, and this is the chocolate. So here's the chocolate Primatale, the Jimmy Pickles. Nope, funny thing. This had a sweetness to it. The pumpkin bubblegum had a sweetness to it. No sweetness with a chocolate primatale. It's um, very earthy. Little floral to it, not much. Very, very hot. This is actually really nice. It doesn't have any real strong bitters, no strong, it's kind of a very neutral as far as the flavor. Or anything strong, negative either way. Very hot. Chocolate Primatale, people, if you want seeds, isolated. Jimmy Pickles. All right, and the last one I'm gonna to try today is the Mini Wartrix. Wartrix is a pod created by, let's say Jay, I can't see if it says, oh no, Wartrix. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the Wartrix is a pepper that was created by Matthew Arthur. Boy, that's a grower. I don't know if you're going to see this, Matthew, but... Do you ever see uh, M.A. after a pod? Bank on the fact that it's going to be special. He created the Wartrix, the daisy cutter. Um, the Wartrix is a special pepper. Small a pod. Um, very, very unique shape. Um, if you go back, there's I've reviewed them. You know, I've eaten a lot of them video here. So if you go to the, the search bar for the videos and type in Wartrix, you'll see. This is a mini Wartrix. I haven't seen it, uh, a live pod of the mini Wartrix, but obviously by the name, I'm assuming it's a smaller variety of the larger pod. Um, spectacular pepper, though. So, um, here's the color of the, the mini Wartrix, okay. Oh, this is a beautiful powder. There's a sweetness to this. Rivals the pumpkin uh, that I just reviewed earlier as far as sweetness. And again, really nice heat. My mouth is burning. I guess I must have chewed it more on this side because this side of my mouth is burning more than this side. Great, 
powder. Um, guys, if you want to grow some mini war tricks, you want to grow some uh, pumpkin uh, pumpkin bubble gum. Um, you got you do this. Go to uh, put a link in the description box. Go to his uh, website and check out the um, his website. What uh, seeds he's got available. Um, you can take it to the bank if he tells you you're, you know he's reputable. Or I wouldn't be you know you wouldn't be hearing me talk about him. So um, get some powders. Um, I promise you, there's, you're going to find yourself being able to use them. They're very very versatile. Kind of the unsung hero of the, the heated chili world. Oh, let's talk about this. This is a cool painting. You guys have seen David Hayes, and you guys have seen Karen. This is it. their son. It's a pretty cool painting. Their son's name, Gail? I'm sorry. What's that? Their son's name? Uh, Daniel. It's Daniel. I apologize, guys. It's, I thought it was going to... I almost said David again. It's Daniel, right? And this is very, very cool. I really like this. Yeah. Isn't that neat? It's a talented family. No joke. Um... Okay, let's talk just for a second about some challenges you got coming up. First of all, go to johnnyscoble.com if you want. You're home. What are you going to do, right? You got the Chase to Eat Hot Sauce Spoons. Got Tubes of Terror. Panango, CTH1. And shirts. Do a little shopping while you're uh, stuck at home because I know a lot of us are. In this bag, people right here. Our tube of terror 2.0 peanuts. These peanuts are 60% hotter than the original. Then these are 60% hotter than these. So this is a very very hot uh, peanut. Um, in this bag is the equivalent of 13 tubes. Um, I'm going to be doing two big challenges this week. One of them I'll be eating two tubes of terror. Two of these tubes. All right. I'm going to put tincture on every single nut. Three drops. Uh, maybe one drop. I don't know. But we're, going to, we're going to put tincture on every single one of them. So that's going to happen tomorrow. Actually, I'm not sure which one's going to happen on which night. But that's going to be one of them. The other one is I'm going to put three tubes, three equivalent of three of these tubes of terror, these nuts, in a bowl. I'm going to pour an entire bottle of Penango. The entire bottle. Um, on the bowl, I'm going to eat that like cereal. And I bet that's going to taste so good and it's going to be wicked hot. That's another one of the challenges. That's going to leave me with about seven tubes left in a short period of time before the contest on the 4th. I'll be ready for that. Oh, oh, oh. Um, anyway, it'll leave me about uh, seven tubes of terror remaining. I'm going to come up with something devious and evil. I'm going to be ready for this contest. April 4th. Don't miss it. Um, you guys are great. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Odd times we're living in, huh? It's pretty crazy. Anyhow, um, love somebody today. You know, it's a weird thing. A positive word, something good, even if you just say, I like that your shoes look great today. Believe it or not, just a positive word goes a really, really long way. Some people get a lot of positive words and they don't really, you know. I don't need a positive word, guys. I get them all the time. But you know what? Somebody you know in your life does. They need it because they don't get a positive word all the time. And you wouldn't believe how far that goes. Make somebody's day today. You realize you can change somebody's day just by being kind to somebody. And it's important because every one of you have had your day changed because somebody was kind to you. You've all done that. I don't care if you're seven years old. You've had that experience, right? So be that for somebody today. You'll be glad you did. That's how to pay it for. That's how this stuff spreads, right? Ah, oh, man, I'm telling you. To me, it seems simple. Anyhow, we're going to wrap this thing up. Thank you for hanging out with me. You know, since we're all stuck here at home, you know what I might do? I might start making more videos. Instead of doing one a day, maybe start doing two a day. What are we going to do? We're home, right? All right, well, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys a lot. Right from there. Um, right there is a pepper. Click that pepper and become part of this family, okay? If you don't want to miss a video, double tap the notification. You won't miss anything right here is a, a League of Fire. Boy, oh boy. Watch what's going to happen in the next five years. Right there, two relevant videos. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I love you. Johnny Scoville, this was Chase the Heat.